Hello and welcome back to Dukascopy TV. I'm Natalie MacDonald bringing you yet another exclusive interview. Up next in the studio to discuss the equity markets, I'm joined by Lawrence Lewison of Axia Management. Lawrence, thank you very much for popping in today. You're welcome. Now, firstly, can you walk us through the equity investment trends that you've noted this calendar year? Well, it's obviously been a good year. Uh, we've had uh, central banks that have been very friendly, very equity friendly. And uh, as a result, uh, we've had markets that are up between 10 and 20 percent between Europe, the US and even Asia. Um, some Asian markets have been lacking a little bit for you know, very specific reasons. But uh, you know, a market like Japan is up 40, 40 to 50 percent this year. And uh, you know, in, in this environment, specifically for, for companies, um, the financial companies have done quite well. Uh, biotech companies, pharmaceutical companies, and some um, technical companies or uh, computer companies have done well as well. It's been commented that the next five years are likely to see a shift away from traditional and perhaps rigid benchmark-based active investment strategies in favour of new active and more outcome-oriented investment strategies. Can you expand on this thinking for us? And similarly, is it something that you're likely to be emulating? Well, I tend to invest in growth companies. So I'm always looking for trends. Um, you know, sectors that are going to be revolutionizing the, uh, the market. Um, you know, one example of that has been in the last 10 years has been Apple. Uh, it's interesting to think that uh, less than 10 years ago, we didn't have a, an iPhone. And, uh, you know, the, the performance of a company like, like Apple is, uh, you know, something that I'm looking for. So, you know, if, if we're thinking about the interest rates in general, um, uh, the trend is to think that interest rates are going to be going up again. Um, you know, some people have thought that that was going to happen this year, but it didn't. But eventually it will. And uh, that will bring uh, investment managers to be more proactive as opposed to uh, buy and hold. What could this mean then for traditional equity strategies? Well, again, it's going to be more, more active. Uh, you know, we've, we've had a, a real trend, an uptrend right now. If interest rates start going up, although historically when interest rates go up, the markets actually do relatively well, surprisingly. But it does mean that uh, managers are going to be more active as, a, as opposed to buy and hold. How then is your 2014 portfolio shaping up? Well, I'll always be looking for this, this new theme. Um, you know, uh, in the 1990s, beginning of 2000s, it was the, the internet companies. Uh, I'm looking for what's, what's going to be the, the next theme for the next five or 10 years. One of the areas that I'm looking into today, which is really technology, is, you know, today we see that mobile phones um, are powered by, by batteries, and that's an issue. Uh, you know, people keep, keep complaining about the fact that they don't have enough autonomy. Well, you have that for mobile phones, but you also have that for, for cars. And uh, companies like Tesla are, are creating a new luxury market uh, and creating gimmicks to be able to extend the autonomy of, of their, their vehicles. Uh, perhaps in the future, we'll have the same thing for, for airplanes. So what I'm looking for is, are there going to be companies that are going to be developing new batteries that you know, today will last one hour and maybe in five years will last 10 hours? That will make a huge difference. Also, there might be technologies that will allow uh, companies to create a product that will allow batteries to be charged much faster. Today, it may take an hour to charge a, uh, an iPhone, for instance, or a regular phone. It may take two minutes in the future. So if I can find those kind of companies, <coughs> excuse me, I will be investing in those companies. Lawrence, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your market insight for us. Thank you. I'll be back shortly with another exclusive interview for you. But for now, why not check out some of the items already online on the Dukascopy TV site? From me, though, it's goodbye for now. Oh, <laughs> oh,